This presentation is offered to help explain what goes on behind the scenes here at Hill Country Memorial Hospital for patients with or who might have breast cancer. Ladies who want to schedule their screening mammograms can call us. We do not have to have a physician's order for just a screening if they're not having any symptoms, so that makes it one less step for them. They can call us directly. We send reminder letters to our ladies that have come to us before when it's time to make their annual exam. Screening is when they're not having any symptoms, no lump in the breast, no unusual pain or uh, changes that they're taught to look for. Something a little unique to us, I think, is that we offer one week out of every month, we have late appointments for the working ladies or anyone who prefers a late evening appointment till six o'clock. That's really helped the ladies come in more on their time than our time. I really enjoy the patient interaction. Since we are such a small community, it's, it's very nice to be able to feel like you know your neighbor and that, that you're, they're your friends as well. But also just the environment that we have over there is a very, it's a very friendly environment. It's a very warm environment. We all get along, so it's very cheerful also for the ladies. So when they come in, they, they really feel close to you and don't feel like a stranger coming in. Because this is our community. These are our friends and our parents and our mothers of our friends. And so it's, you know, it's not just strange people. It's people we see every day. If any additional views are recommended, then we go ahead and start calling the patient the next day or as soon as we get that report from the radiologist, we start calling them to get those exams set up, which is another one of our goals to try to speed up that process and we have gotten that down. Over an average, most of the ladies are back to us within five to six days. Some days, it's the very next day. From you know the, the time at which uh, the person has a positive mammogram or a questionable mammogram, to getting the repeat, that time has dropped substantially. So at this point, you've, re, you've undergone your screening or diagnostic imaging, uh, the mammogram and or an ultrasound, and, and you've received uh, a letter stating that additional testing is needed. And you've undergone that additional testing, and it, it's shown some findings that would warrant a biopsy uh, be performed and uh, at, at that point now uh, you will be referred to uh, a surgeon to perform the biopsy, someone like me. At that point the primary care doctor is going to refer her to a place where a biopsy can be performed so the, where I come into the picture is in that situation where there's an abnormal mammogram or ultrasound I would take a history, a pertinent history, review all of her films, examine her, and then discuss with her, is this a situation that actually requires a biopsy or can we approach it some other way? The biopsy uh, involves a procedure where we um, remove uh, just a small amount of tissue from the abnormality in question, and then once that tissue is re removed, uh, then we send that tissue to a pathologist once the surgeon has collected the tissue, either at his office or in, in the OR, um, it is sent to me, the pathologist, to uh, process, uh, create glass slides I can put under a microscope so I can make a diagnosis, whether it's benign or malignant. And then that report goes back to the surgeon. Well, the breast conference is the opportunity for specialists from pathology, radiology, surgery, and oncology to all get together, along with some of the nurses and techs, everybody really involved in the total evaluation and treatment of breast disease, and it's an opportunity for them to get together, review all the current cases and ongoing cases, look at the therapy, look at the diagnosis, and consider all the options there. The main way that works for the patient is, obviously, we're dealing with patients who have had a problem and the patients are in the breast conference because they've had a biopsy, the majority of which are benign. And we review that and we make certain that um, the findings at the biopsy and pathology make sense with whatever 
drove or required the biopsy. There are so many different details about breast management from the, the diagnosis, the biopsy, making sure that the biopsy correlates with what you saw on the radiographs. The real strength of that is that if there's any discrepancies, we, we can talk about it there with the radiologist and even with the medical oncologist. They have input as well. They may see something that you know, doesn't, doesn't uh, go together. So it's a sort of a check and balance, and, and that way, the, that way we, we make sure that the, uh, that the ladies are getting the biopsies are getting the best care possible, and then we're not missing anything. Um, and in, in addition, of course, since the medical oncologist and radiation oncologist attend as well, then we can go and talk about treatment and what the treatment plans are for these patients. Um, so that, that's the real value, Make, making sure we don't miss things, uh, check and balance for the, the different physicians, and, and to, to plan care. The thing about breast cancer care that differentiates it from many other diseases is it really requires input from so many different modalities, uh, specialties, and so you have to have good people involved at every step of the way. When I see a new cancer patient, I mean, they ask me all the time, you know, have you looked at the CAT scans? Have you looked at my mammograms? Have you spoken to the surgeon? And I think that the breast center that, that was set up here in Fredericksburg, um, I think that's the avenue to which I can confidently tell a patient, yes, I have looked at your mammograms. Yes, I have seen your pathology and talked to the pathologist. Yes, I have spoken to your surgeon. And um, in that regard, I mean, it's a huge advantage to, to the community. I think it helps, um, it not only helps the delivery of healthcare, but I think it helps the confidence of the patients knowing that we are a team of physicians uh, rather than each of us just doing our own thing. The press conference takes its cue really from the community. I mean, the community donated all the equipment that we have. They donated the building. They, no they donate their support for the uh, breast cancer program that we have here. So we take that, that community concept and we apply it to a community of healthcare professionals that take care of women with breast cancer or that might have breast cancer. Well, I'm the Cancer Resource Center Coordinator, and in that kind of uh, interesting multiple role, I get to um, interact with patients directly or with their friends or their family who come in and need some informational help. Well, I think that what is remarkable is that we really mean what we say. It's very easy to pick up any magazine where an advertisement for any institution says, oh, we provide compassionate care and sensitive care, patient-centered care, etc. But the fact is that we have been doing that for years. So we try to really stay within what is today considered a best practice in terms of approaching women, uh, primarily women with breast diseases. We are doing our best to not let people wait and be anxious for weeks on end before they find results of tests. We get all the specialists involved, we get our committee uh, involved, and we provide information and guide the patient through the whole process. And basically, we tend to all of the uh, needs of patients and their families. Uh, we had an art class uh, recently where there was a 17-year survivor sitting beside a one-year survivor. And uh, so that, that uh, little, little message, that subliminal message was there to help the one-year survivor know that there was a lot to look forward to. The ability to provide a resource and give someone hope and give someone help is uh, is rewarding in itself and it's so nice to be able to um, make sure that people know that help is available. I think what we do here with the breast uh, program is to me an example of what I would love to see healthcare be in many other areas of medicine. And I'm always one who believes strongly in the fact that, that more heads involved, more, more thoughts on the table 
to make a final decision that, that would impact a patient's lives is a much better way 